Well, what we have heard from the Russian Ministry of Defense is the confirmation that indeed at night the Ukrainian armed forces have used six attack missiles to strike a military facility in Russia's Bryansk region, which borders Ukraine. In this attack, we understand the Russian air defense systems managed to intercept five of those attack missiles. One was also uh, hit, but still its debris have fallen on the territory of this military object. No casualties or damage has been reported. But having Having said that, we understand this is the first attack with the use of attack missiles against Russian sovereign territory after the news broke about uh, U.S. permission for Ukraine to strike targets deep inside Russia. And uh, the Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, speaking at the press conference at G20, has said that Kyiv's use of attack in the Bransk region is a signal that the United States wants the escalation. He also has stressed that Russia has not received any confirmation from the official channels with regards to this permission being granted to Ukraine. Now the Russian president has signed on the decree which provides for the revision of the nuclear doctrine. So against the version of 2020, what stands out is the very fact that an attack against Russia by a non-nuclear state with the support of a nuclear state will be regarded as a joint attack. Also, Moscow says it reserves the right to consider a nuclear response to a conventional weapons attack that is threatening Russian sovereignty.